got two fish jumping over there somebody got two fish on that's what's up that means whenever people's getting fish downstream it means more fish are coming upstream so we're gonna get right there there it is fish on fish on fish on there it is right there right in the now effortless right there Good morning, it's July 24th, 4.14 a.m. We are fishing Kenai River, we're in Sedona, <coughs> and it's a bit dark right now, but we're gonna get down to the river because there's lots of people already. I got my fish, my fly rod, <coughs> and I brought a net this time, and I'll film a little bit more once we get down there. Sorry for the bad intro, but there's a lot of fish as far as what I heard. So let's get down there and do some fishing. I heard the water is very high this year because uh, it's been super warm and with all the rain we got earlier earlier this year so I brought the net got it in use from Facebook market let's go fish Kenai River 2022 thank you early early morning guys lots of people <clears throat> Thank you. <clears throat> Good morning. Thank you. All right, let's make our way down the river, up the river. What's up, hey, what's up? Thank you. Uh, huh? He commented on my channel also. Oh yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I stopped doing it though. A lot of work, huh? <laughs> oh, <for sure. laughs> All right. Good luck, man. All right, guys. Let's make our way all the way down over here. No people over here. The water is high this year, though. What's that? Four thirty a.m. guys. I just lost one. They're big. Jumped out of the water pretty big. Yep. Four thirty-five. No, four twenty-five. Four twenty-five a.m. Water is deep right now. Water is up to my waist right now. It's river is high this year. They're in there though. Oh smoke! That was a big hog. I think I got it on the mouth, but it wasn't fully set the hook yet. I wasn't paying attention. It jumped out and then went back in. I'm glad I brought the net though. Because there's no place to land this if I did get one. Water's deep. Keep on fishing. Fish. Oh, just lost one guys. Just lost one. A lot of people are catching now. Uh, they're like right here, 4.30, 4.35 minutes. Yeah, people are catching it to the left. There's nobody on the right, right upstream. I'm the last one on the right. And uh, yeah, they're coming in. Just gotta give it some time, let it get more daylight. As long as it stays dry, we'll be good, man. So I'm letting the, uh, I'm letting my line do the work this time. They're hooking them too. I'm hooking it. I'm just not getting a solid hook on it. Yeah, there's another guy way down there catching it where the stairs come off. Uh. So we're not using Russian river flies. We're using a size four hook. We've got some Mozzie hook with the bead. Kenai, you can use a regular size hook. You're not restricted to that Russian river fly. Last trip we were at Russian River got skunk. <laughs> oh, hopefully we do better here. Fish on guys, fish on, fish on. Fish on, fish on. Fish fish. Uh 432, 432. It's on the mouth. It's gonna be hard landing this one though. Yeah! 
<laughs> First Kenai River fish for 2022. Here we go, baby. Yeah, it's in the mouth. I know it's in the mouth because I'm controlling it. Fish on, fish on. All right, I'm gonna try to net it. This is gonna be hard. Oh, I maxed out. All right, let's try to net it, guys. One hand netting. Don't go to the tree, don't go to... My net is stuck. Oh, this is difficult, man. There we go, woo! Look at that. They're big. They are big fish this year. Wow. There we go. Oh, don't lose, don't lose your rod now, new. Oh, wow. Uh, less than 10 minutes and we, I got my first fish. Oh, baby. This is hard right here too. Don't hit your rod. Sweet. There it is, first one. Oh, wow. Look at that. It's super hard too. It's a big boy, big girl, big boy, who knows? Let me get my stringer. Just lost one. Oh, this is tricky, man. It's tricky this year because it's the water. The water's high. There's no shore to land and no place to back up. Come on, there's one on the line. But the fish is good this year. They're big. And the numbers are looking promising. Oh, there it is, right there. Oh, last one. Yeah, this one didn't fight that much because it was so, uh, it's right in the mouth. There it is, right there. Fish on, fish on. Fish on, right there. There we go. What's, what's that? They're right in front of you, I think. You might have to step back a little bit, yeah. They're right at this current where it's ending or where it's uh, ripping out right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this one's good. All right, let me try to get it the net again. Uh oh, let me get it tire. Just let it get it tire. Play with it this time. All right, there, perfect. All right, that's 437. That's like, that's like a less than five minutes after after the first one. This one's a bit smaller though. We'll take it. All right, man, this is a complicated right here. Oh, come on, stay there, stay there. There we go. Oh, the hook came off already. Okay, even better. 4.40 a.m. We've been out here for less than 30 minutes and we got two fish. <laughs> so the, the unusual limit is three, but uh, they already emergency order open it to six. So right now, six is the limit, 12 in possession. So I can catch six today, stay after till midnight, which is a new day, and then catch six more. But uh, we're just gonna get six today and go back home. There it is, right there. Oh, lost it. Lost it, lost it. More people is coming down. Yep, they're right, they're right in this. I know where they're at now. They're in this little pocket right here. Sorry for the dark footage, guys. They're right here. Right where that current's ending. Morning, morning. All right, guys, they're right in this pocket right here. So I want this little bay right here. Oh, I just feel some right there. There it is, right there. Oh, oh I just feel some right up my foot. They're swimming up right now. Yeah, they're swimming up.
Yep, they're coming up. I just built one on my foot and then lost one right here. Yep. All right, baby. It's not even 5 a.m. yet. It's only 4.40. People are just waking up right now. It gets deep down there, though. Somebody's catching away over there. I'm very glad that I brought the net. I was gonna leave the net in the car and just like be like, oh, I'll use other people's net, but I'm glad I brought my own net. I wouldn't have been able to land those two fish without it. Fish on, coming down. Fish off. Just lost it. Is it still on? It's off, right? Yeah, it's off. Oh man. Oh, he got one. Look at that. Fish off. Perfect. Wow. They're coming in, guys. Set that drag up, man. Don't let it rip. Set that drag. Don't let it rip. <laughs> Some people come down here with fly rods and they don't set their drag properly. And they just let their fish run all the way down. 50 yards down the, down the river. So that's why I love about this uh, reel here. This is the Bihamoff. And it has a great drag, man. This thing will make my pool bend like a little... Zoop. All right, the fishes are in. Everybody's catching. All right, all right. Let's have some fun, baby. Going for three. Third one right now. Beautiful out here. It's not raining right now. So last two, last two, last couple days, there's been over a hundred thousand fish coming in, according to the uh, fishing game sonar reader. So hundred thousand plus fish, man. I think two days ago there's a hundred eighty thousand fish that came up, and then the next day was like a hundred thirty or hundred forty, and then yesterday or something like that it was like 90,000 fish which is pretty amazing because last year was good and it had like a 50,000 run per day so this is like two three times better so we should have a good run today I want it I want it to get brighter so you guys can see better footage but we'll see how it goes I got four split shots on right now. Four split shots with a uh, five, six foot leader. There, oh, that's a tree or something down there. Look at that, guys. I caught this little fish right here. You guys see that? What is that right there? Oh, wow, let that go, man. <laughs> that's crazy. That's like a little small, almost like a little rock fish or something. <clears throat> something's in there something tree or a stump or something stump on you want to let your hook just do the work here when you're at Kina just let the let your line go right into the mouth that's what it's been doing floss that's why I like flossing here. Somehow the Kenai River just works way better than Russian River. Just goes right into their mouth. No effort at all. Oh, there's a tree in there. Yeah, there's a tree in there or something. Some kind of... Oh. Everybody's catching over there. Two people got a fish on them left over here, down river. Fish on guys, fish on. Yep, fish on. Uh, I've been doing it one handed, so I think it should be good. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Oh. <laughs> 
Yeah, they're in there. They're just having a little bit of fun. I don't want to limit too fast anyways. Yeah. <laughs> I want to have a little bit of fun out here. Four fifty one. There it is, right there. Fish off. Right there. Coming down, coming down. Ugh. Did I catch your line? Yeah. Alright, I'll try to bring it in. Uh, yeah. See if I can uh see if you can get it out there. If you can't, let me net it in then. Come on, baby. Come on, come on. Give me your rod. Here, I'll hold your rod in. Right there, right there. Right there, right there, right there. Right there. There we go. All right. Let me. Yeah, once I lift it up, and then it's it's all good, it's all good. Let me, oh man, it's all tangled oh, up. Oh man. Here, let me. I'm just gonna cut it, bro. You sure? Yeah. You sure? I'll, uh, I'll untangle and I'll bring you back your stuff for you. Careful, bro. It's still on it. It's still on it. I'm gonna cut it. You gonna cut it? Okay. No worries. Right. Oh, this net is. This net is getting tangled. <laughs> All right, where's that? The fish is still on the line here. <laughs> I'm just freaking manhandle it. Yeah, let's just do that. hard landing it oh my god there it is third fish Damn, I felt bad. I, don't, I didn't want to make him lose his hook, but it's all right. He chose to cut, cut his line, which is all good. It is what it is. All right. Damn, it's so hard. Five oh one, guys. Five a.m. Five a.m. We got three fish. Oh, they're in there. What the heck's going on? Yeah, they're in there, guys. They're hot. Better than uh, better than last trip to Russian. There it is, right there. Boom. Fish on, fish on. There it is. Woo! <laughs> oh. 
there it is. Come on, go in there. Go in there. There we go. Thank you. All right, four fish. This one's a bit small, but we'll take it. Wow, I see two casts right when I dropped it in. They got it already, that's crazy. I was betting myself that I was gonna limit within an hour and a half. And that might happen. There it is, 5 a.m., 504. That one was just right into the mouth. Didn't even try that one on. That one just went right in there. Lost it. So we got four, five, six, two more. Two more to go. Yeah, everybody's catching it down there too. Down river, you guys are catching it down there. Bring it here, I'll net it for you if you want me to. Where you at? Where you at? Lift it up a little bit more. Got it. There it is. Yes. You got your bunker? Yeah. My first one's about the size of this, and after that, it's a bit smaller, but they're all nice. <coughs> Sweet. <coughs> yeah. Beautiful colors too this year. Yep. Big fish. <coughs> nice, man. No problem. There it is. Everybody's catching. That's the way to do it, man. Just let the hook do its thing. Let the raw do its thing. Right into the mouth. There's way more people down the river now. Way more people. Lost one of my sinkers. I gotta put more weight. Let's go guys. 508, 508. Time's going fast. Flipping and flossing. <laughs> It's way easier. Super fun, man. Early morning catch, man. Couldn't ask for a better day. I like when everybody's catching, man. People down there is catching too. It's super crowded back over there, though. Or down there's a good spot, though. That's where I fished last year. But you gotta come pretty early. Last year I was fishing like maybe 50, 50 yards down there from here. A nice cloudy day here on the Kenai River. Beautiful day, 
So right across, you guys know that place, that's another campground. Park on that side and you can walk down the bridge, but over there you're on like a, you're on a platform. And there's some people that's on the, the ground. There it is right there, fishing on, nope. That's the freaking, there's a tree right there. Tree stump or something. It's not that bad though. Yeah, I've never fished on that side yet, but maybe I'll have to ride my scooter over there and check it out, see how it is on that side. I know it's a campground though. You can park and uh, pitch your tent and RV, whatever. Oh, this last one. Yeah, they're right here. They're hanging out right where, right, right where I'm getting my tree stuff right here. Yeah. Fishes are jumping everywhere. One guy got it over there. Right, stuck on the tree again. That's a fish. That's a fish. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do it because I'm I'm getting the hang of it. One hand on the rod, one hand on the net. This one's a fighter, so it might be a foul. It might be a foul. Yep. Hold on. Yep, it's fighting strong. It's on the tail. Yep. Fish off. Yeah, that's a foul one. That one's a ripping way too strong. Probably on the belly or right on the boat. Yeah, that was a foul. I can tell it's a foul because it's, it's fighting way stronger. I can feel the tail power. Fishes are flipping here. Look at that. There it is, right there again. Oh. Oh. Yeah, those guys are catching away over there. So that's what's up. So right now I'm using four sinkers. Fish on. Oh. Fish off. <coughs> yeah, they're in there, man. There's a lot of fish. Just gotta position yourself right. There's right right in front of this guy here. Uh, this gentleman, he's not positioned per properly, so. He's like, when he throws it, he's, throw, he's throwing it right in front of them. So I'm at the perfect angle where my line ends up right where he has. So you gotta be at the right position. Position yourself properly. Right here. There it is, right there, see? Oh. I'm trying to let my hook do the work. I want it, I want my hook to get it right out of the mouth and just, there it is, right there, see? Yeah, when you floss properly, your hook goes right into the mouth and you can feel it. It's like, it's, 
It's very, it's very effortless. There's no effort needed. It just goes right into the fish's mouth. Floss it right out. More and more people is coming. They gotta go way down there. I thought I was far when I first got here, but no, they're they're going farther. Got two fish jumping over there. Somebody got two fish on. That's what's up. That means whenever people's getting fish downstream, it means more fish are coming upstream. So we're gonna get right there. There it is. Fish on, fish on, fish on. There it is, right there. Right in the mouth. Effortless right there. This is the fifth one. Small but decent. Wow, look at that, man. I called it too. So fifth fish right now. We're gonna go home early. Yep, we're gonna go home early. Fishing's too good right now. Nice fish. Yeah, they're nice. Look at that color. So five fish so far guys, right there. So 523 guys. We're still under the one hour mark. All right, guys, we're going for the last one. Six fish. We're going for our six. <laughs> I don't want to limit out yet, but oh well. We limit out. We limit out. I was hoping to have more fights with these fish, but when you get them in the mouth, it's so good. That was a tree stump right there. That wasn't, that wasn't the fish. All right, let's try to get the sixth one right here. This is freaking awesome though, man. So much fish out here. <laughs> 525 guys, 525. Don't ever feel like, when you guys are fishing, don't ever feel like you need to be where all the crowd is, man. That's not where all of the fish are always at, man. Don't be afraid to go somewhere else, you know? Just because you see a bunch of people down there don't mean you have to fish down there, you know. There's tons of fish right over here. People are catching over here too, you know. Upstream, way over here. So, don't follow the crowd, man. You don't always have to follow the crowd. Especially on the Kenai. It's a tree stump again. That might be a foul. Fish off, fish off. That was a big one. Right on the chin, I think. The cheeks. Oh, that took the hook. It wasn't meant to be. Yep, that one took the hook. Okay guys, time is 5.34 a.m. My uh, GoPro camera is gonna run out of battery soon, so I'm gonna try to conserve it and try to get the last shot of the six fish. We just need one more to go. 5.34 a.m. Six, six, six fish, guys. Fish on. There we go. There we go. Six, baby. 
549. All right. Feels like a big one. Feels like a big one. It's my last one. Okay, everyone, 6 p.m., no, 6 a.m. I got all my limit, look at that. Beautiful sizes. My biggest one be my first one. <coughs> Six fish, man, so many fish. Everybody's catching all their fish. I'm gonna have to get proxy next year. So if you guys are in Anchorage and you guys qualify for proxy and you guys want me to fish for you next year, shoot me a DM, shoot me an email. I'll be more than happy to fish for y'all. Yeah, so we've been out here for less than two hours. And we got our limit. <coughs> People are catching it here, ladies. These guys over here, they got tons of fish. It's not slow. It's not super fast. It's just perfect. Um, once it's, when there's too much fish, you actually run out of energy because you're like catching it, catching it, catching it. But it's perfect. It's nice and steady. Man, beautiful day here, Kenai. So these fish, I'm gonna go ahead and just keep them whole. Oh, this one has a big scar, maybe from a whale, or a, not a whale, a seal, right there, right in the belly. But we're gonna head on home. It's only, uh, like I said, just hit 6 a.m. and we'll come back probably uh, another time. But there is a lot of fish. Get, your, get yourself on the Kenai River. Okay, everyone, so I've decided that I'm not going to stay the night. <laughs> I'm just going to make my way home. But before I end this video, <laughs> I want to show you guys my setup for anyone that might be new. This is an 8-weight fly rod. <laughs> this is the Okuma. <clears throat> and then this is the 8-weight Red to 10 Behemoth. <laughs> Had this for, since last year. <clears throat> I'm running backing line. Uh, backing line. <clears throat> running 30-pound line. <clears throat> this green line is 30-pound or 20-pound mono line. With the Kenai River, you want to run at least four split shots, swivel, and then your leader is your main thing. This The length of your leader and the weight is the most important, one of the most important. <coughs> so you want your leader to be this long. So this is like four feet. See that? From there to here. You got to run a bead or a yarn. I'm just running a bead. <coughs> and then the hook size. This is like a size 4 Gatsumatsu hook. Um, you actually don't want to run a hook too big. Because if you run a hook too big, then you'll just end up getting foul hooks. And all the fish I caught today um, were right in the mouth. There's one that um, was a foul hook, and that was the one that took my hook away. <laughs> but for the most part, we weren't having any foul hooks like we did at Russian River. So this is a size 4. Some people run size 2. But 4 is like the happy size. So pre-made, pre-make your leaders about four to five feet long. And that's the technique right there, flossing. The guy on the left of me, he wasn't really catching any. So when I left, I told him to put an extra weight on it because he only had three. And then I looked at his leader. His leader is like only three feet long. So I told him to extend his leader to at least five feet. So that's the basic setup for flossing on the Kenai River. I got the six fish in here. We're going to put all the gear into a bag so it doesn't get smelly and dirty. I'm going to eat a little bit of lunch and head on out. And we'll be back next week. So before I leave, I want to show you guys this place here. <coughs> this place is off a of funny river road. It's like, a, I forgot the name is, but it's a Kenai Center or something like that. <coughs> but it's free parking. And they have restrooms. And the walkway is less than 100 yards. <coughs> so this is the emergency order. When there's not an emergency order, the regular limit is three per day, six in possession. <coughs> but you can see here they upped it to six per day, 12 in possession. So since we caught our fish already, let's go and take a look at other people and see what they're catching. <coughs> and I'll show you guys a little bit of the tour here <coughs> for anyone that's new. Because I'm not stingy with my fishing spots. I like, I like to share my fishing spots, um, help other people get fish, because I know this thing here takes time, commitment. So if you're willing to make the time to come out here, I'm willing to teach you and show you the way. <coughs> There's tons of fish for everyone, guys. 
plenty of fish. So we fish right down here. And then I think we fish towards the right, going upstream. The river's going down that way. <laughs> so I'm not gonna, sh we're not gonna go down there because you can't really get a good look. So I was fishing about 100 yards that way. But if you go towards over here, over here is another spot you can fish too. <clears throat> and there's a nice little, there's a nice uh, platform where you can just have your families hang out if they're not fishing. And you can also watch people fish down here. So let me take you guys down this way. Up here is a campground. So up here is prior property. <clears throat> it goes to like a campground, a lodge <clears throat> where you have to pay. And then this is where we came from. And then down here, you can have a little nice platform. I never fished down this side yet, but I know it's good over here as well. And maybe next time we'll have to try on this side. <clears throat> so there's a big ramp that gets you all the way down here. Has a nice cleaning station where that gentleman is. <clears throat> and then these houses right here, those are the business and private property and stuff like that. I like this, this docking here. Uh, this is a nice dock to just come here and watch people fish. And you can fish down here too, so there's tons of people down here. Look at that, look at that. The sun's coming out. Kenai River, beautiful. Houses on the other side. People flossing right here. <coughs> the river is high this year, so make sure you guys uh, wear full-size waders. Chest waders, not hip waders. If you come out here with hip waders, you're going to get wet. It's all the way up to your waist. <coughs> Kenai River, beautiful. There's people catching fish over there. The guy just lost one right here. It is gorgeous. This guy got a fish on. <coughs> that guy down there has a fish on. Fish on everywhere. Fish off right there. Nice. <coughs> That's the other side of the river. You can see it's a campground, RV park. <coughs> Lots of people on that side fishing as well. Sean, right there. Nice. <clears throat> sun's coming out it's beautiful in the Kenai River today the weather was set to be broad, uh, cloudy it's very very nice These are these Germans right here. They own the Land Cruiser next to me. <laughs> Not much action going on over here. Be nice to get on that little island. I bet you there's some nice fish hanging out right there by the uh, that island right there on that side. Might either take a kayak or a canoe down there. This is a very strong current though, or a strong river and a deep river, so you can't just cross it. It's not like a Russian river where you can walk across the river. Not on this place here. This guy got one. Fish on. There we go. <coughs> nice action. Here's another fish on right there. Check that out, guys. Everybody's catching. <coughs> fish on right there, guys. Nice. Keep it up. Yep, 
you guys are coming out here, I highly recommend you guys get a net. There's like no place to land out here. Water's high this year. So that's gonna wrap up the first Kenai trip for 2022. <coughs> Successful, limited out in two hours, less than two hours. Tons of fish here. <coughs> I still wanna keep fishing, but we got our limit. We can stay again, but we'll come back next time. <coughs> I think uh, Wednesday we're gonna come back again out here and uh, we'll do some more fishing for y'all, but it's hot right now, guys. The, uh, the middle of July through the end of July is always a good year. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I uh, apologize in advance for the early footage, which was kind of dark, but I kind of wanted to start early because if you don't start early and uh, it gets packed like this, it's really hard to get a spot. You have to go further up the river, get super crowded and the water is so high. So we'll come back next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys got any questions, if you guys need any tips, let me know in the comment section below. Subscribe, subscribe if you guys are new and I'll see, I'll see you guys on the next fishing trip. Bye-bye.